Welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm here today with Don Bubar from Avalon Advanced Materials. Don, you're the president and CEO. You've been with the company for a long time. Uh, and I see you've made a big move into the lithium space. Lithium's pretty topical. What do investors need to know about the lithium market right now? Well, for one thing, we're not lithium rookies. I've had our lithium project at Separation Rapids in Avalon for over 20 years now, going back to the late 90s when we first looked at it as an opportunity to develop it as a source of a lithium industrial mineral for glass ceramics. But obviously these days, uh, lithium ion batteries and energy storage is the opportunity uh, for any aspiring lithium producer. So over the last couple of years, we have been looking at how we can best serve that market with the very unique resource we have at our Separation Rapids uh, project. And what is it that makes that resource unique? It's a pegmatite, but it's got a different mineralogy than most pegmatites that have the mineral spodumene as the primary lithium mineral. We have a mineral called petalite, which was the mineral that is valued in glass and ceramics, and another lithium mica called lipidolite that offer different opportunities in terms of markets and processing to access different markets in the, in the lithium battery material space as well. Well, you actually referenced that you guys have been in it for quite a while, have been in the lithium space for quite a while. A lot of companies are quite new to the space. Um, so I regard you as a bit of an expert on it. What issues do you see as far as supply chain and production of lithium? Yes, lithium is a very misunderstood commodity. Uh, it's really not a commodity in the traditional sense of the term. It's really a specially refined chemical product that you have to make to meet the requirements and specifications of your customers. And in order to access those markets, it needs to be qualified as meeting those very demanding requirements. So it's really not a traditional uh, mining business and a commodity. There's a mining component to it, and you need to access a source of the critical material in the ground. But then it's all processing and how you're going to derive a product that will meet the market's needs. That's just not well understood in the marketplace generally, and this is where the challenge and the risk is for any new aspiring developer in the lithium world. Well, coming back to Avalon, you guys have completed a financing recently. Uh, investors, you know, this is an opportunity for them to participate in the lithium market. Is there anything they should be watching for as far as news flow or uh, catalyst for the stock in the next few weeks or few months? Yeah, well, we've been doing a lot of discussions with the downstream now. Um, we feel our next major step is to build a phase one demonstration scale pilot plant to prove the process flow sheet that we've developed over the last few years to make those lithium battery materials from our unique minerals and um, prove that we can do that and meet the uh, customer's expectations. So we're doing all the work required to to get ready to go ahead with that, um, that pilot plan. It'll be a fairly uh, expensive proposition. It'll be a 30 to $40 million investment to build it. But in order to do that, you really have to have some support from a consumer to make that happen. And these days, um, they're not hard to find. <laughs> there are lots of companies out there that need a supply of lithium. It's already in short supply that are anxious to find opportunities to align themselves with the new producers to secure that future supply. So we should look for further news flow uh, as you advance the project? Yes. Don, thank you very much for giving us an update on such a topical subject and we'll look forward to talking again soon. My pleasure. Okay.